Welcome back to Geek I Show see what Arcade. You did there. Extra I did long. I, yep, <laughs> make it up for the last show, and I waited not long enough. It evens. It out. all evens it out does. in the end. I Tony, like that. I it's like law that. of averages. That's right. Uh, welcome to the Geek Show Arcade, where we talk about video games and video game related topics and things like the Meta Connect things and sometimes GPUs and other things that <sighs> seem to make people happy. I don't know. I don't understand it, but it's it's a thing we do. Uh, let's get going and introduce our panelists. Start with the person here on my this side. <laughs> it's the Owen. Oh, hey, that's me. I like being up top because Lando has a tendency to stay up above there. Anyway, follow well, me on Twitter. That's the best place, Owen. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I wasn't ready, and so now I word diarrhea all over you guys. <laughs> follow me on Twitter, at <laughs> TechnoOwen. There you go. Gross. I'm still and reeling from Owen. the in-between. Jaren hit me hard. The laugh. <laughs> That, that, that was painful. Uh, down below the O one, we got the Jaren. Hi, I'm Jaren. The Jaren. Uh, that's it. Uh, next to Jaren, we got the Quad T Tony. That's me. Check me out on Twitter at Quad T Tony or on uh, other Geek Show podcasts. Right above me, it's the Lando. Hey, it's Lando. I'm the hosto with the mosto. It's Lando. Can you be the host without mute controls? <sighs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I we're trying real hard. I want them Guest so bad. Host, but you know, you guys know if I had mute controls, I would abuse them like crazy. The person mm -hmm. with the mute controls is the producer in the producer's oh. booth. Oh, okay, we can go with that. I'm the host, you're the producer. I feel okay. like that's a that's a that's an upgrade for both of us. A promotion, if you will. Hmm. So I, mean, I won't. Yeah, no. yeah. I, wa I won't. <laughs> it's, it's not. All right, uh, Jaron, do we have any of those emails? No, no, we don't. Really? People, we love your emails. Please email us. This is the Geek Show, or, or the help. Yeah, Geek Show Arcade at gmail.com. Send us all your lovely emails. Mm -hmm. Just tell us how much you like us, or maybe you don't like us. You can tell us that too. We'll read it live so, on there. You sound so surprised, Tony. Were you expecting an email? No, I just thought for sure. I mean, usually we have at least one per episode, like per recording session, I should say, one out of both episodes. I know. We had no emails this week no, at all from either okay. show. Yeah, well, it's all right. It's yeah, if you don't want, if you don't want Tony emailing in, if you don't want Tony to wax poetic on GPUs, send us an email to distract him. Or if you do want him to wax poetic on GPUs, send him an email to 100%. do it. This guy gets it. Yep. Mm, you have the power, it. dear listener. All righty then. Let's get started with our stories. Uh, the first story. I have a quick PSA. Just a quick PSA. Personal. I'm going to take some personal liberty here because I am the host. Um, Bellatro got released this, this week on, on mobile, which it's excellent. So, oh, sorry. You, you can't do this story. Sorry. It's on, it's on the list. I'm doing it myself. It's, not, it's personal it's liberty. A, it's not on the low. It's not on the notes. So it doesn't really exist. Sorry. Ah, fair. Um, anyway, uh, Tony, did Continue. you get it? I did. Have you played it? I have. What do you think? Um, I think I'm going to treat it like Marvel snap and play it a lot for a couple of weeks and then just put it down and never touch it again. That's fair. I'm, but I'm okay still with that. a couple but of weeks of fun. It is. Uh, my one complaint is I wish, and this is a, this isn't Bellatro's fault. This is roguelike complaint. I wish I could make uh, progress and upgrades that carried over from round from like mm, you want to like play through because I finally figured out what the planet cards do, and so I'm like, oh sweet, I can I can make my hands worth more points. Yep. But until you die, and then... but it, it gives you that rush of upgrading every it's, single it's time dopamine. you play. Yeah. Oh, no, it gives me the sadness of thinking I upgraded this five minutes. I'll never, ago in my old I'll run. never have this Why do good I have enough. To do it again. Yeah. That's that's roguelite for you though. But yeah, that's that's what I mean. That's not a Bellatro thing. That's a roguelite Tony complaint. But it's okay. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's fun though. It's, it's a it's a very well made uh, card game. It's uh, if you like poker and you like. Uh, wild a, cards in your poker games and stuff like that deck it's manipulation deck, deck building manipulation yes and you, you're just playing against the yourself basically yeah you so, go for high scores it's fun i think it's fun the more you play it because you unlock more stuff so do you because i feel like mm -hmm. everything just closes after i unlock it uh you unlock new jokers and new cards oh, to new use decks. that's right new decks and things yeah all right fine uh Sweet. Uh, next story I want to talk about is UFO 50 from last week. Owen went and bought it. He's been playing I a bunch. Impulse, I, I want to hear, hear more about it. I don't know how people played games back then. I am horrible. 
were harder. <laughs> they're hard. Games they're and harder. they're they're unforgiving. There's no tutorial. It's just <laughs> it's just get the crap kicked out of you by a un like you can't set the difficulty level on these games. Yeah. I got I was playing a game called Bushido Ball. Just okay. You. Okay. And I got physically angry at that game <laughs> to the point where I'm like, this is stupid, but I kept playing it. Cause I was like, no, I have, I have this. How can I, how can I be a gamer? If I don't like the history of games, I have to keep playing these. Well, I have to remember. love old games, fake, fake history of games. Fake history. <laughs> I know, I know, but like it was the art style and it was like, and I never played games like this back in the day. Like the best one I have that was real was river city ransom. Mm-hmm. Right, like that's kind mm-hmm. of a a scroll, a two D scroller. Um, I don't even think that's old. Yeah, that's not old. Is that that's old? That was on Nintendo. You're old. No, it's a, uh, it's it's a uh, like old games on Nintendo, but River City Ransom came out in. Uh, oh no, there is a River City Ransom that came yeah. out in 1989. You're right. That's the one I played right there. Oh you're old. wow! Oh wow! Wow! Oh, Owen's right. Owen was right. Boom. Holy Stop the presses. Cow. Let me tell you let me tell you something right now though. When you down when you find if you ever play an emulated version, uh there's a lot of skins for that game and one of them is River City Ransom Naked was an actual chip that was made because remember back in the day they couldn't do mods. They couldn't do mods live. They had to be coded onto the chip, but right. somebody did one and that ROM exists. And you can have River City Ransom Naked, and I have played it. I'm not going to... I think I was thinking of River City Girls. Oh, I think they made a remake of River City Ransom. Uh, Yeah, because you can buy it on Xbox, the Xbox store. Oh, okay. And No, no, that's the original old one. Yeah. Yeah. They they had one called River City or, like, Dodgeball. Uh, It was kind of similar graphics where it was, like, River City Ransom, but Dodgeball. River City Girls is a newer one, though. That one debuted in 2019. So, but oh, uh, you've 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 veered off course. Get back to sorry. the UFO fifteen. So I so I played. That ends. I can't remember the other titles. I'd have to get my. Um, you didn't that's play how, the first one for very long, did you? Because that one no isn't very. Uh, good that's the one I played. That's to be the one representative I representative of. That's the one I liked the most. What uh, the the Baruto one or something? That's like a puzzle game. No, that's not the one I'm thinking. That's oh, okay, the second I, one I think. Yeah, I think it's maybe the second one. Anyway, there was one that was a great puzzle game where you were going level to level. Um, and you just and it was just kind of like a finding secret. It felt very much like uh, the original Zelda, where like pushing against walls that didn't exist and finding hidden gaps and like, you know, like when you're going through uh, Mario, like the if you play the 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 Super Mario Brothers on the Switch, um, and you're like in one of the ghost towers, and the, the doors go different places. Yeah, yeah. It's like like that. And so that one was really fun. Uh played that one for a long time. I'm going to give my hats off to them because at the beginning of the game, it starts out at the title screen and it just brings you right in and it has his name up in some bricks at the top. And the screens are passive. So as you hit the screen, it scrolls you over to the next one, right? right. And there's holes and you can decide to jump in without knowing what's down at the bottom. That ended with me dying a lot. Um, but if you go left, you're fine. If you go right, there is no run, there's no dash, there's nothing fast. If you go right, you are instantly smashed. There's no way. (laughs) The blocks under the name instantly fall down after you're far enough over that you can't retreat back. I tried to do like the, oh, can I? Can I? But they have like, it's like four blocks. And when you get to two and a half (laughs) where you're screwed either way, smashes you, uses life. There's a good um, video from video game donkey playing UFO 50. Check that out. It's it, it, it sums it up fairly well. Nice. Uh, but I just, Barbuta I'm just, is the Barbuta. That's yeah. The part, that one's that's like the one. I, yeah. That's the one. I, and hard. And... It, yeah. But that's, I enjoyed that one the most actually really? was, yeah, that's the one I enjoyed the most. Cause it's just like, did you play you all search, 50? No, I only played three or four before oh, I, you have lots of I, game left. I know before I was really frustrated though, before I was like, <laughs> look like I'm not bad at technology, but these games are making me physically angry. Like the one, the, <laughs> the Bushido ball, I was like, okay, how is he doing that super move? Cause the computers just start out top level. They're using all their moves. I'm like, how is he dashing? What do I, and I'm playing it on the, um, ally. Right. So I'm like trying to figure it out. 
and then I figure it out and then I get my a handed to me for like, cause it's kind of like <laughs> tennis where you go back and forth and you hit this ball back and forth and you're this, I want to say stupid, but this other character was uh, charging up and hitting me with this fireball. I'm going to tell you right now, I almost turned it off until I learned how to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, this was fun, but it is. It, they're a lot of fun. The art style is great. They feel very much like old arcade games or old, like either Game Boy games or NES. Uh, NES but with style. lots of polish, right? Yeah. I mean, super smooth, right? Like, and super responsive. Like, I, like a lot of times when you emulate those older games, you'll get ir like unresponsive or the buttons don't match right or something, but but these ones not emulated directly coded to the stuff they were they were it's a lot of fun worth worth the 24 bucks i paid for it i think is what it was or something yeah, like that something like that so and i've only played a few of them but i'm going to play more they it's been nice because my wife is super into the news and political stuff and i'm super not cuz i'm super burned out on it all mm. but i'll just sit there and play ufo 50 or minecraft while she's doom scrolling but on tv what do you call that doom watching doom watching i don't know i guess i prefer doom playing personally i love yeah doom. right there you go so ufo 50 totally worth it uh i would say i mean by totally worth it i mean i've played four of the games <laughs> out of 50 and i've had a blast so far even after the aggravation i think it took me back i think as gamers we've gotten so used to being like like go get a tutorial or oh, yeah, have sure. some sort of walkthrough with like, here's what the buttons do, right? Like some sort of, here's how you play when the games we used to get, were just kind of like, bye, here you well, go. Well, I mean, to, uh, to be fair, back then they put the actual like pamphlets in the game cartridge. That's box. true. So you had, you know, these are what the buttons do. Right. This is the this is the story so far or whatever right. and some cool graphic graphical art and stuff. Yeah. But but And yeah, I guess I guess cool. you could if you wanted to, you could go on YouTube and find how how to's on these already, you know. That's no fun. But, That's spoilers. But, but like any like like Breath of the Wild three is like my formative game in that where I just was like, I have no idea how to play this. Breath like, of the Wild three? Mm -hmm. or, I don't think anyone knows um, breath how to of, play that. Sorry, Breath of Fire oh, Three. Breath sorry, of Fire Breath, three. breath yeah, of Fire yeah. Three. I get those confused because they they co. They both say the breath. Breath of, breath of the. the. Nice. Everything but the last word. Cool. Thank you, Owen. Thank <laughs> you for your review. We appreciate your service. <laughs> Go buy UFO Fifty. Moving on to more reviews. Jaren's played a game called Star Wars Outlaws. Tell us how you felt. On YouTube, you are missing out on yeah. Owen's facial expressions guy <laughs> hey it's my turn now yes Sorry, it is tell us about star wars who all right i've been playing star wars outlaws and this is a dad review so 10 hours played uh if you wanted a full game completion that would be like next year so <laughs> in i like the that calendar, dad where did June dad review come from i'm 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 totally co-opting that so in the interest of being somewhat timely you get a dad review nice all right, so 10 hours in, I've I've unlocked all the areas that I can go to. Um, I can fly anywhere with my ship. I have my speeder, which you get at the very beginning anyway, so it's, that's not a big deal. Are um, there more areas that you haven't unlocked, though? What? You Meaning said, I, I can fly to any planet I want. Oh, okay. Because you, you, said you, you've you can't do that. Everywhere you can get to. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be able to get to it if you hadn't unlocked it. So. You have all the areas unlocked in the game, though. I, I Sorry, like Tony. Do you Would lot. you like to give nope. a review? I'm curious I'll allow it. What, how, what you've unlocked. I can fly Every... to any planet that I want, which you can't do for quite a while. Nice. Anyway, um, so I'm going to talk about things I like, things yeah. I don't like, and then give a overall review. So um, just saying what like the, the game, what it's like is... Uh, it's it's very stealthy. There's there's a lot of stealth, like that was a one lot. Of the main complaints that a, a lot, lot of, of stealth. Had. Um, so if you don't like stealth, you probably won't like this game. Mm. Um, I've never really disliked or liked stealth. It's just kind of there for me. I must say though, I I've liked this stealth. Uh, there's been some memes online about how uh, like the U the AI back in Black Flag was better than the AI in Outlaws. So like it. As an example, I, I, I rode my speeder right into a uh, Empire base, and everyone was freaking out like, oh, we got an intruder, blah, blah, blah. 
I went over to the grass, like 10 feet away, hid in the grass, and no one could find me. <laughs> well, okay, now. <laughs> did they just stay actually... triggered, or did they go back to... Oh, they, they, they were back... triggered. Um, oh, here's yeah. the thing, though. If we're actually going by Star Wars lore, this is this is peak Stormtroopers. Yeah. You know? That they, tracks, they right? They suck. They're that's terrible. On, yeah, that's on brand. <laughs> But that I don't think that makes a bad game. I'm still having quite a bit of fun of it. Yeah. With it, it's just a small, uh, small f- detail about it. That's kind of kind of weird. Um, it's kind it's like open world Uncharted meets Star Wars. Whoa! Did you just I like those things? Yeah, yeah. So there's climbing involved, uh, ducking behind uh, Star Wars crates and <laughs> shooting at people. Mixed in with stealth, but there's a bit more stealth compared to Uncharted. How does it look? Oh, Owen. Mm-hmm. I'm, gl- I'm, glad is... you, I'm glad you asked. Oh, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Owen, mm-hmm. why would you do this? Mm-hmm. I want to ask. The why? amount of detail in this game is insane. Just like everything is so Star Wars-y in, in every way possible. And the, the graphics are topped here. I wouldn't say it's as good as Alan Wake 2, but Alan Wake 2 is an open world, so... Yeah, it's hard to compare those two kinds. It's games. it's very good. It's it's running my 4090 full tilt, which I've never really seen before. Um, I'm actually excited for the 5090 because this game is so speaking. heavy. Oh, I can't wait speaking, to talk about the 5090. Speaking of the nope, 5090... I'm not, I'm not done speaking yet, Speaking of the... Lando. We've got some rumors. Tony's going to um, talk to us about the rumors. I haven't even reviewed the freaking game yet. You haven't? You've been talking about this time. You haven't reviewed it yet? What's happening? You're interjecting. That's, do you want yeah. you want to keep interjecting? We can we can keep this going. Go ahead. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. So anyway, graphics are amazing. They, it looks good on all platforms. It is scalable. You don't need to choose the yeah. craziest graphics. It will run on your graphics card if, if you scale it down, which is That's, which is fine. Well, it'll still be nice fun. About the still snowdrop, have fun. The snowdrop engine. It's a very scalable engine that it's built on. So. Yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't hold back on killing or stealing. It lives up to the outlaw's name. Okay. Uh, so, like, it, it hasn't been Disneyified at all. You're, so you you're, just to, sti- you're stealing from everyone. You're can you be a vil- oh, whoever like you want. This game. Oh, that's my Baldur's Gate run right there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and it, it, true to outlaw's form, there's there's a lot of double crossing that's happening. So that that's that's cool. Um, so so things I like. There's lots to explore. Very, very Star Warsy. It's exploring nearly open that, world. That, nearly what? open world. Is no, it like near? Is it it's, fairly open? It, it's it's full like open. Full open oh. world. Yeah. Oh. For it, exploring, is there cool stuff you find that you, like will make your character better or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. The the upgrade p- path is quite detailed. Um, That's what I like. And the 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 different planets, the different biomes are very, very varied. They're varied quite a bit. So like there's the Kijimi is, is a snow city planet which looks cool. Um, you got Tatooine, your basic Tatooine, and there there's like grasslands on Toshara. And you can't have Star Wars without Tatooine. I know mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. a rule. Yeah, this is the um, way. the the speeder and the ship is really fun to control. Um, it doesn't feel like it's bolted on. It it feels pretty pretty dang good. Um, so anyway, it's it's been it's been really fun to play. I've really enjoyed it. A lot of times when I review games for the podcast, I stop playing them afterwards. I, I don't think I want to stop on this one. Um, I'm gonna keep going until I don't like it anymore. We'll see how long that is. Worth the worth the price? Was it a triple A like fifty nine? Quadruple A. Quadruple A. Seventy dollars. Quadruple A. Uh, on to the bad. Um, it's it's kind of buggy at this point, as you would expect from most brand new games these yeah. days there's some graphical glitches it crashes pretty much every time i sit down to play it oh like gosh. a hard crash to the desktop uh which sucks that. and the, the cut scenes look strangely weird like the the character models just look odd like so the in-game uh cut scenes look better than like the cut scenes that they've no even the in-game cut scenes are weird like the models oh. they use for the cut scenes look slightly different than than the model you play during the game <laughs> and the model that is in the actual game looks better than the cut scenes like she she looks like an alien in the cut scenes 
but she looks like a normal human in the actual right. game. So because in those cutscenes, they had to get those ready for like the games cons and stuff, and they're like, "Well, let's just no, tune those up." No, they'd polish Come on. that. If that was the case, they'd polish it up. There was a Deus Ex game that ran into that. Mankind Divided. If your com computer could push that game to the limits, the in-game graphics looked better than the cutscenes. It was weird. Yeah. Um, the cutscene thing, though, that, that's minor. I, at, at the end of the day, I, I don't really mind that. Um, I, I really like the different factions. You you make decisions constantly of which gang you want to make happy. Um, I've, I've consistently made Crimson, Crimson Dawn extremely angry at me, um, <laughs> despite my best efforts. Um, but it, it's fun making the decisions. The story is mostly compelling. Um, really it's just the, the 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 bugs in the game that really need to get patched um so i would probably give it a 9.5 without the bugs i i really like it what about um, with the bugs with the bugs probably nine like they're they're not horrible they're not game breaking unless it crashes but then you just boot, boot say, it back up it crashed so, to the desktop. <laughs> but so like if they fix the bugs there's not a lot of room to grow there like you're gonna give it a nine with the bugs nine yeah. with the bugs like, cause it it doesn't stutter like crazy, like Jedi Survivor, or that's a that's a low bar to roll over. Or though. Hogwarts Legacy. So is it a first? Is it have they done their day one patch yet? Do they have one? Yeah, of those? They, they've done they've patched they've, a couple times already. Yeah, they've oh, done okay. a couple patches. They've made some of the stealth missions easier, which I didn't have a problem with. Um, that's because you're a gamer. You're that's so cool, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You done now? Can we so, get a score? Nine butts out of ten. There you go. It, nice. Also of note, it is coming to Steam next month. Right now, it's a Ubisoft launcher origin, uh, original um, exclusive. Might be on Epic Games too. I can't I'll remember. wait. It, yeah, I it like is, Steam but, so much. I'll wait. Yeah, so it, that's actually a bit of Steam news. Next month, so Ubisoft family, has right? switched to day one Steam releases starting next oh, cool. year. Nice. Good job, Ubisoft. Good. Yeah, I think that's good. Which is a great because I well, I guess you use the Ubisoft launcher no matter what. But I despise Ubisoft launchers. Supposedly, it's the worst. Supposedly, with the new Assassin's Creed game that got pushed back to February, uh, I saw an article that said that the CEO said you will not have to launch Ubisoft Connect to play the Assassin's Creed game. In wow, Steam. that'd yep. be amazing! It'll just be one launcher. <laughs> it <laughs> forgets my password every single time I get I into it. That. It drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of news. AC Shadows, Assassin's Creed Shadows was delayed to next year oh, nice. due Thanks to my job for me, Jared. Due to the uh, bugginess of kind of a dick move, isn't it? Star Wars Outlaws. Um, it no. hasn't sold as well as, it, as they hoped. Um, probably some of these bugs, and just because people hate Star Wars nowadays. Anyway, delayed to next year. All right. Now to the transition I was trying to do earlier. Speaking of the 5090, let's talk about 5090 rumors. We don't usually talk about rumors, but apparently Jared wants to talk about rumors for some reason. So these let's talk about pretty, some rumors. These are pretty dang legit rumors. How do you know? They're still rumors. It's the, it's the who who reported well, it's them not, first. It's, it's less of a rumor and more of a leak. Yeah. And the guy that leaked it is very has been very reliable in the past. Even nice. Digital Tell us Foundry, all about it. Who never reports on rumors yep. reports on these rumors. Well, that's not true. They, 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 they honorably Foundry mentioned usually, them. Digital Family doesn't report a lot on rumors, but what they do very well is conjecture of how things are going to be based on track records. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so 5090, the 40, well, a bit of context. The 3090 was pretty decent above the 3080. 4090 blew the 4080 out of the water. I think it went from like the 3090 was, I think, 20% faster yeah, than the 10, 10 to 20. And then the 4090 was like, is it's like 40 plus percent faster than the 4080. It's, I mean, it's considerably faster. It's looking like though the 5090 is going to be an absolute beast, especially compared to the 50, the rumored 5080. Oh. Um, so looking at shader units, which is kind of the main thing that drives performance in, in a GPU. Tony, correct me if I'm. Crazy. Yeah, well, there's a lot of factors, but it, there are. But. That's like you're, that's like when, when you're looking at a uh, CPU. That's like saying, okay, this has 15 core, 16 cores, and that one over there has eight cores. You know, so kind of a thing. the 4090 has 16,384 shader units. The 5080 is rumored to have 10,000. That's so um, many. It's 
It's much less. Much less oh, than the 4090. Less. Though right. it's kind of rumored that the 5080 will be kind of on par performance wise to the 4090. Doing more or less. Somewhere around 10%. Uh, at best, it, sang, it seems. Yeah, so a lot less more, shader units, but similar-ish performance to the 4090. Yep. Um, so 10,000 shader units for the 5080, um, 21,760 shader units for the 5090. Ooh, wow. So Double. twice Double. twice the amount. Yeah. Going That's from not going to equal 100%. No, it won't yeah, scale linearly. Yeah. But... Well, uh, I mean, it could, because the, the 5080 has 256 memory bus, um, whereas the 5090 would have a 512-bit memory bus. Okay. So it's so maybe it wider memory, faster memory, as well as twice the amount of shader units. Those are all higher numbers, right, Lando? Bigger means, numbers go zoom. That, right? Like in baseball, that's a good thing. Most I mean, yeah, bigger numbers right, go zoom, it, zoom. It likely won't be a 2x increase, but is looking like a bigger increase on okay. the 4090 compared to the 48. What's, oh, the, yeah. MS, what's the MSRP on a 4090 right now? 1600 16. if you're oh. lucky. If you're lucky. Okay. Most is of that MSRP that. or is that like, that's not before it's you both. MSRP. That's both. Okay. That's Ooh. MSRP and that's what you will find it at if you're lucky. Right. So you're thinking, what do you think for the 5090? You think they're going to... My vote's two grand. I'm do you think they can do that? Grand. I just don't know that they can do that. And like, I hope they can't. There has I, to be. I don't want to spend two grand on GPU. There has to be a ceiling for the market, but you will. right? Like, they can't just There's say, a, now we're right. at the 6090, and this one's 30% better than 5090, and it's going to be 2,500, right? There has the to be a cap. The, well, the problem is, is you're talking about their Halo product, the absolute peak, best of the best, and companies know they can charge whatever they can charge. You, you think, but so it has to then by that idea it has to drop the forty ninety has to drop so, then right? Uh, yeah. Well, the forty ninety is going to be roughly the same performance wise as the fifty eighty, and they can't. Which they have been doing for a while. It's kind of shooting their eighty yeah. like their fifty eighty series up to the next level for yeah. the following. And they generation. just call it that, but it's been it's just better binned. So, so that means so the the forty eighty right now is a thousand dollars. Jeez. So the 5080, Ooh. I think, twelve hundred probably start at twelve hundred. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. I think. I think it has do. to start. I think it has to start higher so that they can still maintain like a twelve hundred dollar price tag for the 4090. Lower the price of the 5080 to like nine hundred, eight hundred. That'd be increase awesome. the price of the 5090 to like eighteen hundred. That would be less awesome. But well, less awesome still, for us. A, but I, I think it. I think it that, makes more that, sense. That reflects, but and it reflects the specs, right? Like a hundred percent. The problem with that much of a jump is you're not going to fall under that marketing uh, window where it's like, well, if I just pay this much more, I can the go middle. Up to the next yeah, level. Right, remember that. What's that called? The no. mid range or the middle yeah. option? Right, right, right. But this is such a massive leap over the fifty eighty. I feel like I that's think true. it could that's be true. justified. I feel like I feel like they have to drop the forty ninety to that eight hundred dollar price and then have the. Well, they wouldn't even the... be selling it once the fifty eighties are out. Here's the thing: if they want to sell these like crazy, like without question. 1600 maintain the same price yeah 1600 bucks they already got they already just based on their sales for the 4090 they they would they'll they have would it you know sell out of it for months and months. they'd be increasing from 24 gigs of vram to 32, 32 on the 5090 gigabytes of vram at 512 bit bus yeah yeah that that's a monster it's insane insanity 1700 uh gigabytes per second of bandwidth just insanity. With That's 600 enough. watts of TGP. So it, re well, it will require more power. Yeah, but like like the 4090 that came before it, it, it says this is the maximum it can pull. Even under full load in gaming scenarios, it doesn't pull the maximum. So What does it know. pull? I've got a 1,200 watt power supply. You have like a... plenty. Okay. Not so enough. I think, I think that you'd probably be fine with a 1,000 watt. Hmm. I'm looking but, to maybe upgrade this bad boy. I'm probably uh, going to do it to the new power to the new. If the if the 9800, if the AMD 99 3D X 3D is any mm, good. Oh, 9800 man, X 3D with a 5090. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that's what 64 I'm, gigs of RAM. Mm. Imagine? Oh my oh, gosh, glorious. That's, that's my next computer. 20 minutes of the show, it's the three stories. Glorious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lana's like, for every sentence after this point, I'm cutting a story. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Are we done? Okay. Are we done now? Yeah. Supposedly, that's, that's these will launch early next year. So yeah. nice. Announced at CES, probably. Yep. So looking February, January, when is CES? January. 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 Beginning of January. So they'll announce it then and they'll probably launch in March. Yep. Mm, All right. Bonuses come out. Something oh. or somebody called Fantastic wants another chance. <laughs> there's no there's no vowel between the F and N, so it's fantastic. That is fantastic. It is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. And you guys remember the day before that oh, game that yes. came out and completely bombed because they basically just faked trailers. They they lied. They That's, lied. About they straight everything. up lied. Well, um, apparently they didn't shut their doors four days later like they claimed they did, mm. and uh, they're back. They want another chance. No way. Yep. They're saying, come on, guys, come on. Just give us one more chance. We've got a uh we've got a new game. <laughs> and uh we're, we're on Kickstarter. Uh oh, we only no. want fifteen thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars for this new game called Escape Factory, a physics based multiplayer co op escape game. Now, to be fair, fifteen grand for to a game. Be fair. Thank you is nothing for game development. So right. I don't know yeah. what they're getting at here. I think more than anything, it's just to prove that they have enough people out there. This is just one of the devs that still has... to give them 15 grand. This is just one of the devs that has access to their Kickstarter account. That's what it feels like. He needs to pay off his car or something. <laughs> I mean, it's a very, it's a specific <laughs> amount. Five, fifteen thousand five hundred and thirty-five dollar thousand dollar goal. He's like, that's the rest of my Kia. And then oh I can be gosh. done. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I like the reference to the potato salad Kickstarter, though, on this article. Classic. 55K. Potato salad Kickstarter made 55K. So, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. If, if, if people... They're on. at $2,300 right now. This, 24 days to go. Let's be honest. This company is, at this point... A bunch of scam artists. What do you do with broken trust? Like, why you would you not do rebrand? Not give them a red cent. Mm -mm. Is what shut I down say. the company, rebrand. Yeah, rebrand for crying out loud! If you're going to try to pull this over on people, make a new name for your company. Yeah. The only thing that they did have going for them was they came out with a game before, the day before, called Prop Hunt, and Prop Night. No, Prop Night. Uh, which, yeah, which was a, a prop hunt style multiplayer game, but for whatever reason, that's uh, not, you can't even buy that anymore. I don't know why, it's it is defunct. Um, so hmm. anyway, that's that's it for that. Uh, don't 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 give them. Don't money. do it. Come on, guys. Mm -mm. This is worse um, than the this is worse than the helmet investment. This this is yeah this is this is worse than the bike helmet that folds up that Jaren never got. Nice. If you mm -hmm. spend twelve thousand dollars, you can meet with the fantastic founders. That I will give you. That's $5 a great <laughs> to not have to meet them. <laughs> if you give, yeah. enjoy right. an unforgettable dinner with the founders of no, Fantastic. No, unforgettable no. dinner. As a token of appreciation, you'll be named as a special sponsor in the game. We're gonna visits. we're gonna Speaking root of you having... and take your BitLocker Bitcoin wallets. Yeah. Speaking if they, of, um, if their dinner is anything like their last game, <laughs> it's it, fake. It'll be like uh, some Taco <laughs> Tuesday. It's, it's plastic. They'll, they'll send you a picture before it happens, and it'll be like a nine course meal, and then they'll show up with, with Del Taco. Hard shell taco. Del Taco's good, though. I love that's true. It wouldn't be Del Taco. <laughs> Del Taco. Yeah, oh my gosh. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You guys are going off the rails. Speaking of dinner, we got some beef happening with Disney and Steam. Owen? Yeah. That's uh, you know, it's not what it's so it's not. no, it's not. It's not really beef there. Uh, <laughs> your your headline says Steve says Steam says come at me, bro. I said not the Disney way. Uh, you know what Disney did with their EULA, even yeah. if you signed up for Disney Plus or whatever, oh, yeah. forced mm -hmm. arbitration, right? For anything, for Disney, anything related, Disney related at the parks anywhere, right? Well, Steam is not doing that. They just updated their terms of service that every court case brought against them has to be done in a courthouse in Kings County or Kingston County. Um, and the story behind it's super interesting because what happened was that some enterprising people got together and, um, and formed a class action lawsuit and based upon their legal documentation. Now steam, people companies usually like uh, are forced arbitration 
because it means they don't have to go to court um, and have a bunch of court fees and all the things, right? They can just say, okay, we're going to pay you 500 bucks and settle out of court, settle, you know, arbitration. Um, well, <clears throat> this class action lawsuit that got put together and uh, moved forward, um, they found, I want to say the number, I think it's 75,000 people, uh, 75,000 clients. So um, to, to join this class action lawsuit, and the arbitrations, the um, what they typically do is that they have a in their verbiage or whatever. It's a three thousand dollar limit. So if it's under, like three thousand dollars is is the limit of their like if it goes over that they have to arbitrate or something. Um, and so they so they got seventy five thousand people to sign up for this this uh, class action lawsuit, and then their lawyer of that of all those uh, defendants no. What are they called? What's plaintiffs. the opposite? Plaintiffs. No, Thank uh, you. That's it. Plaintiffs. Is it plaintiffs? Yeah. Plaintiffs are the other side. Yeah. They're the ones that want something. Uh, their lawyer was like, look, this is going to go through and uh, we're going to let you settle out with them through arbitration for 2900 So coming in under that mark um, to give, you know, saying, hey, you know, it's going to be either $250 million or it's going to be a little less and you're going to settle out of court. Right. And so they changed their verbiage on the, on the, um, on their fine print. I can't remember what I'm trying to say. Eula, sorry, Eula. They changed it to basically say, if you have some sort of beef with us or whatever, we're going to court. See you in court. And basically what that's saying is, I mean, they're calling the bluff of these people. Like you got to travel here. You got to, if you lose, which you're paying you, our legal fees, you're paying our legal fees, you know, and you got to take the time out of your day. There's no more of this ease, right? Where it's like, you're going to take the time out of your day off work, leave your family, your kids. Like you got to come here, show up in court for probably multiple court dates. Leave uh, depending... kids, you say? Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Um, <laughs> but uh, so he says tens of tens of thousands of steam users have, have enraged uh, are engaged Zyger LLC, which is the, they're the legal firm, um, to hold steam owner valve accountable for inflated PC prices of games. And it said that through arbitration, many consumers get compensation offers without doing anything beyond completing the initial form. Um, hmm. and so, uh, basically what's his name? What's the guy steam? Gabe. Yeah. Gabe said, basically this goes live as soon as Gabe you steam sign. is his name. Gabe steam. Um, <laughs> Newell. Gabe Newell basically says, uh, this is live as soon as you do anything. It's as soon as you do anything, buy a new game, update, whatever. As soon as you okay the new terms of service, this is live. And if you, and you, then on the, in November of this year, um, it's gonna, it's going for everybody. It's forced. So the lawsuit happened in 2023, uh, 2023 valve, sued this law firm because they were submitting loads of arbitration claims on behalf of gamers. So, so this is, it's kind of a two, two edged sword though. It's like in the case of the corporation, like with Disney, they were using this to force the family of the guy that was killed on the, on the ride. No, his wife died from a food allergy. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Wife in the died restaurant. From, sorry. Wife died from the, it was like a shellfish allergy. Yeah. And they swore and said that they had cleaned it, that it was fine. Yeah. Like they promised they'd let her know. They'd let and them know. Anyway. So from the corporation side, they could force this family into arbitration instead of an actual loss. Because, because, a, because a wrong, a bunch of money. Because a wrongful death is yeah. way more lucrative. Right. Right. And then, so, so that in that case, it, it would screw the plaintiff over. Mm -hmm. But in this case, for Valve, little it's, bee stings. It's helping the them as the defendant, right? To not have to go through arbitration. So. Not have to go through the legal process. Just arbitrate out. Yeah. They have like a interesting. They have like a you know. They basically say, look, if it's under three grand, we just do it. Right? If it goes over three grand, we got to go to court. That's what was in the verbiage. But yep. if it's under that, we'll just arbitrate out. And that was their default. If it's under three thousand dollars. That starts to add up after a while, though. 75,000 people, it came to $250 million. So, wow, it's crazy. That's lots of monies. It is lots of monies. Yeah, it is though. lots of monies. Thank you. And this this Thank isn't, you, helping lawyers, isn't helping lawyers' uh, image. 
Can you? I mean, Skeezy. I don't, I don't no. know. W- would you arbitrate, Six. Owen? Or what would you, you, you say? I don't approve. I'd arbitrate. And uh, suing is way too much energy. So it if suits top. If suits, if the show suits, which made me a de facto lawyer, taught me anything. <laughs> it did not. You always settle. <laughs> always settle. If you could have right, twenty nine hundred dollars right now, or maybe some more money later. Who knows? Nope. Twenty nine dollars is a lot We're of burritos. Still, this is not games. This is lawyer That's news. A lot of, suddenly, a lot of... suddenly, geek show lawyer show. Oh, what's you, happening? Do you think this makes sense for Steam? For Valve, I mean. <laughs> what do you think, Jaren? Stop. Okay, Jaren, tell us about <laughs> Razor shaking our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that that time. I caught. I caught it the How's second it feel, time. Lando, how's it feel? So you know those cheap vibrating pads you can buy, put on any seat you want, and it boom, it vibrates. Yeah. <laughs> Rubs yes. your back or whatever you know. Oh, your back. Yes, I do. Oh, this. Yeah. massage. Yeah, my back. That's what I use it for. Massage. Of course. Personal yeah. massager. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, Razor is doing this for haptics. It's like a seat within a seat, a seat that is not a seat. <laughs> They throw in a free face mask? Why don't you just say it's a removable cushion? Uh, I was trying to say, never mind. Um, removable cushion? <laughs> removable? Um, anyway, it's it connects to uh, some hub they have, and it, it, it vibrates you in, in certain places um, mm. according to game sounds. Just the back of you, though, because oh. you never take front damage. And your butt. And your butt. I do a lot of running away, so this would pre- be beneficial for me. So if you get Halo. shot in the butt, you might fill it, or other games. Um, you got shot in the butt talks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, Lust. it's it's Lust. like it's it's three hundred dollars. Would you guys ever be interested in something like this? Nah. For me, it's a hard no. It's a nah. hard no. Look at the it picture would... of that. It literally looks like one of those cheap back massages yep. that you get Bed yeah. Bath and you get yeah, in the yeah. Beyond section at Bed Bath and Beyond. And why would I only want it on the back? Maybe if there was a vest, like full-on vest that went over the front and yeah. the back. Yeah. So what if you hook that up to talking. that? What's that other Wooger. haptic, guys? Wooger. Wooger. What if you have Wooger for the front, this thing for the back, strap some Woojers on your calves and stuff. There you then go. You, then you're getting somewhere. Then you could full-body experience this. Mm. But in general, nah, I'm not really interested. Yeah. In the, it's not called for, the not... Razor Frasia. Frasia? Freya. These are the guys that did the mask too, right? Like the yeah razor. Yeah, I don't. I just don't trust their hardware anymore. Just... Interesting idea. I haven't really seen something like this. Maybe maybe there's been some obscure product like this in the past, but it's an idea. Yeah, the Wooger. We just talked about it. What, what's the Wooger? You keep saying that oh, word. I don't think it means what you think it means. There's it's a, a vest. vest it's a haptic a vest. Strap version. Yeah, I've tried. I tried the. I yeah. tried the not strap a, version. Strap. Not, on, nah, on. Different. Different just strap. A strap. Mm-hmm. Okay. And pulses it, mm-hmm. it goes over you like a sash and there's a there's a, a thing that goes kind of over where your heart is or maybe on the other side i tried that one pulses and and vibrates it was fun for a minute stuff. yeah i mean you could put it anywhere you want but you're supposed to wear it on your chest they wouldn't let me put it anywhere <laughs> i wanted it and they only really? let me put it on my chest party poopers that's what i said all right jaron talk to us about the quest 3s it's announced for this week and it sounds timely uh, this was the last bit of the Meta Connect. Uh huh. They much. announced the Quest 3S. It is a less good version of the Quest 3. So the main difference is, is slightly lower resolution, 1832 by 1920 versus 2064 by 2208 in the Quest 3. Um, lower storage, same chipset. So yeah. that's, that's good. good. Um, probably the biggest one though is includes Fresno lenses instead of the pancake lenses. Yeah. And for you people who don't know what that means, pancake lenses are the better lenses. It you get a um, nice crisp picture across the entire lens. With Fresno lenses, your eyes have to be like in the perfect spot to have better clarity. And this is what the PSVR two has is Fresno lenses. It doesn't have the pancake lenses like the Quest three. Um, personally. Uh, I mean, it, if your eyes are in the sweet spot, I don't think you'd really notice. For anyway. us wide-eyed ET looking mm-hmm. screwballs, we need that. We need the pancake lenses. And yeah, I yeah, feel like this is just the middle. This is just the middle option again, right? How, what's the price difference between the two? This is the low end option. That's yeah, what I'm gonna is, say. Yeah, they. Oh, do they, they have a middle one too? Discontinued no. oh. Quest Two. They discontinued the Quest Pro, which was always a terrible product. Yep which is good. 
Um, so this is the new low end. Um, Quest 3 starts with 120 gigabytes of storage at three hundred dollars. What's the what's the price. Quest That's 3? That's a good price. Yeah. What's the regular one with the pancake lenses? Five hundred. See, okay, four hundred dollars. See, and that's no, 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 no. You're, you're right. Five hundred. Five hundred. Because they got yep. rid of the yep. the lower storage option, and yep, then right. dropped the five twelve gig option from yeah. six fifty down to five hundred. I can't see them expecting to sell very many of these Quest Meta threes at three S's because they're just like, hey, for an extra two hundred dollars, look what you get. No way, right? dude. Parents no. buying stuff for their kids. Hundred percent, they will go with the three S. For the two hundred dollar difference, I would. For the budget constraint, I would totally do the three S. Hundred percent agree. Yeah, really. Like the pancake lenses are nice, but it's. Is it? It's a lot more. Nice. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. And the better storage, right? Yeah. More storage. Yeah. uh, They offer a two fifty six gig version for four hundred. 400 yeah so. yeah so if you're shelling out for the 256 i would say go I'd, for the 500 i'd consider the five yeah so 12. 300 or 500 i i think that's the the choice right there um i'm i've kind of soured on the quest as a pc headset just because it's so much easier just to plug something in not having to wait for updates and play with the psvr2 that's that's the main thing i like about the psvr2 mm. with the quest my quest 2 it has sat in a box for like two years just because I knew when I booted it up, I would have so an hour updates. of updates. Oh, recently awful. went, recently went through that. My kids wanted to play beat saber. Yep. And, and was, okay, wait an hour. updates on a VR headset is the worst. Slow. Cause you either keep it on and literally wait for like 30 minutes to an hour or With it on. Well, if you mm-hmm. take it off your head, it, it goes to sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even or... while it's doing updates. <laughs> yeah, man. Are you kidding me? It's terrible. If they were smart, they would have an option to where if it's plugged wow. into a power source. I think wow. if it's plugged in, well, it that's what I did. That's what, we did. I, I that's what we did. That's what we did. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least there's that. But oh, if awful. you if you do that, it's like okay, what it, what what's the status of it? Okay, you put it back on, take it yeah. back off, put mm-hmm. it back on, take it back. Off. It's a it sounds pain awful. In the yeah. Especially and then kids like have there's small just... heads. My kids have small heads, and I had to keep like squeezing it on. Yeah, I it's I didn't have it's, to do that. Awkward. Now I realize that. Mm. <laughs> as as a standalone, I, I think it's it's compelling. But if you want it for PC, I'd recommend PSVR two. There you go. Okay, thank you, Jaron. And with that, dear listener, we're gonna call. We're gonna wrap up the show. Before we do, whoa, we're gonna pimp whoa, our, whoa, no, whoa. we're out of time, Tony. I got I'm driving. I got. I, you can't. You can't let me. You can't let me skip over Bluetooth news. We're gonna save it for next week. Oh, we talked about Bluetooth mm-hmm. news in the last show. You can I hold know. off for a week. I, I promise have, you'll I, be okay. I gotta Tony, have another one. Another Tony, one. Tony's, Tony's, Tony's got to do it. I got to do it. You got one minute. Tony's Go. got to have it. LG and Razer have teamed Ooh. up, and they're using the new Bluetooth ultra low latency, uh, whatever you call it. Bluetooth uh, LE. ULL. ULL. Ultra low latency Bluetooth standard. There we go. Um, and it should, according to them, will make wireless controllers over Bluetooth as responsive as wired controllers. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool because usually if you want that, you'd have to get a 2.4 gigahertz dongle yeah. uh, ver- uh, controller for that. But uh, if you can do it over Bluetooth with built-in tech, then that's pretty mm, rad. It, that's going to uh, be my next controller. It goes over um, Bluetooth 5.4, I believe, and should have input lag to 10 to 20 milliseconds or less. That's really good. So, yeah. Oh, just kidding. Right here. New, Razer's new ULL Bluetooth gaming controller is supposed to be one millisecond input lag so hmm. yeah Dude, i bet i could win all the halos with that probably yeah so so many halos and LG's all of planning them. lg's planning on launching that receiver in their tvs in 2025 because it will use the mediatek mt7921 wi-fi chipset which has that built in and uh razor is going to have their controller they haven't given it a name yet so you know, as soon as that starts coming out, another thing. Why would as well. it be useful to build that into the to their TVs? Uh, so you could do things like cloud stream, gaming. 
NVIDIA GeForce. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, now and stuff like that. Just, okay. Just native. Yeah, because of the extra uh, lag with cloud streaming. Yeah. Taking Which it out. Always been the problem. Of so everywhere any, else any helps away. a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. But All how, right. How do you think this relates thank, to thank Steam's arbitration clause, Owen? No, stop, stop, stop. Mute him. Mute. If I had new powers, I'd mute you right now, Jaron. I think. Time to call it quits, but I want to talk about Patreon. Uh, I'm going to pimp it. So I, I, I have to assume there's people who you listen to this show and not the last show. So Patreon is the best. If you pay us a dollar, you get all kinds of awesome benefits. You get access to a super secret dis- discount. You get in between. You get the show early. I forgot to mention that one last time. You get the show early. You get both the uh, last show week. help. Tony was late last week. I messed week. up last week. <laughs> Well, you still got arcade a day early. So, so you get you get the Geek Show help desk early. You get the in-between and the arcade, all of it at the same time early through the super secret Patreon podcast feed, which is awesome. You can access the Discord. If you pay us even more money than a dollar, <laughs> um, six dollars or more, you get a shout out on the air, and Jaron's got, got that for us right now. That's only a dollar. <laughs> it's only a dollar. I'd, I'd buy that for no. And access to the super secret Discord channel. Discord? Yeah, for a dollar. You get a whole bunch of benefits for a dollar. There's some, you should, there's, is you my should be hungry picture in there? We I hope not. To put it, in there. it is I don't there. Think I'm pretty sure I put to. it there. <laughs> and we won't force you in arbitration like Disney does. That's right. Right? Seriously, like if they. Oh never mind. Jaron, read the pod, read, <laughs> read the donors. If you pay $6 <laughs> or more, you make Jaron say whatever you want. He's going to read that out right now. Thank you to David. Dave, whoa, oh, let me David start over. David. Thank you to David Brochinski. If he can read Aaron it. Faulkner, Connor Keesaw, and Wolf of Ball Tony. They are, are, they are our tech daddies. Extra thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jason Eatman, Mies Chonies, No Mole Climbs That Can't Be Mountain Hilled Over, Got True it. King of Synthos, Be the Eight-Year-Old, Michael Shane, Tony the Home Theater Geek, Travis Great. Johnson, Buy Geek Show Arcade Top Dust Stickers at Pie Man Graphics on Etsy, all proceeds go to lead George Cade's medical bills. Jeremy, no name, no color. Eric Steinman, Eric Cruz. In between rating plus 10, Matt Nelson, ah. DP, Wesley, Adam, Stuart Lloyd. The problem with society is meatballs is tasty. And Ryan. Who's Wesley? Can you imagine? Your mom? Jaren? He's a new <laughs> a Good he's one. A new, oh, new I love that. That's a good one, Jaren. <laughs> oh, uh, can you imagine getting Jaren to say I like something about Uncharted that sucks or Star Wars? That's a benefit you get too. Jaron has to say whatever you write. <laughs> the only thing worse than Uncharted is Star Wars. Yeah. Something. <gasps> oh, <laughs> so good. But the very worst is obviously Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> nope. I want Lando's Complete job. Rings of Power needs to be oh, rated and... number one. I like this new this new Patreon benefit that we're pimping, making Jaron say whatever you want. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Worth a dollar. It's worth a dollar. Well, no, it's worth six dollars. That one's six dollars. Oh, that's, yeah. oh, that's six dollars. That's right. Oh, it's yeah, not that's worth a dollar. It's not Jaren, worth a dollar. Jaren ain't but there's cheap. a lot of dollar benefits you get. Indeed. So subscribe for a dollar. In <laughs> fact, I'll tell you what. Next week, next week only. If you subscribe this week for a dollar, we'll read your name out next week. So you get <laughs> get all the benefits Wait a Wait a for a dollar. You don't have this one week authority. only. You buy are now. Used, you are using buy, buy now. Buy now. You might as you, why didn't you go out in the summers and do door to door sales? I mean, <laughs> Who knows? You made a mint. <laughs> buy now. Get all the benefits of the six dollar subs for this week only. One dollar. <laughs> only lasts for a month though. You're taking your power too too much, Lando. You're taking yeah, too much. To hey, when we get new subscribers, <laughs> I, I want I want the I want the credit. That's it. Go ahead. Press the button, Tony. Press the press the button. <laughs> We're good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's go thanks for listening dear listener thanks for subscribing to patreons if you're not a subscriber go subscribe now for a dollar it's the best in the meantime owen do what owen does hey we hope you care